We have reached the time in the life of the planet and humanity's demands upon it when every fisherman will have to be a river keeper, a steward of marine shallows, a washman on the high seas. There have been great novels about fishing, whether for white whales or giant marlin. Tom McGuane has the distinction of having written the great fishing novel of his generation, 92 in the Shade, about permit and bonefish. McGuane's authored some 10 novels, as well as collections of short stories, essays on sport, and several screenplays. I simply feel that the frontier of angling is no longer either technical or geographical. Something like this suggests what fishing ought to be about, using the ceremony of our sport and passion to arouse greater reverberations within ourselves. Your cast has to be really, really good, because to really get them to come out, you have to be as close as possible to the mangrove. Oh, shucks! <laughs> Take the tree down. You'll see we decorate a lot of trees with flies, uh, trying to get the fly back to them. <laughs> the special thing that Gwen's good at is catching these very rare mangrove, mangrove snapper. Ah, I see you've done this before. Oh, yes, I have the technique. Yeah. <laughs> the big thing is, as we all know, snook fishing, you always end up in the trees. We'll, we'll kill that idea for now. <laughs> Gee whiz. <laughs> We're being very patient with you and your bush act. <laughs> there you are, dude. Yeah, you know, Get your rig uh, back. Your turn to throw one. No, no. Oh, nice shot. Huh? <laughs> back to my favorite fish again. Ah, ah. We've uh, we've learned that it's better to be lucky than to be good. <laughs>